Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The National Security Minister Robert Montague has announced a series of short-term measures in response to the crime problem which has gripped the western parish of St. James. St. James last night recorded its 200th murder since the start of the year. And the National Security Minister says the police commissioner will be taking strong action against the policeman who leaked this video of a shooting incident at a gas station in St. James. One man was killed and two pump attendants injured in the attack last Thursday. The Jamaica Manufacturers Association wants the government to urgently implement the anti-crime recommendations of the Economic Growth Council. The association has estimated that, excluding the impact on business, the direct cost of crime is at least 3.7% of Jamaica's total value of goods and services. 30-year-old Jamaican Vanya Lee Allen has been sentenced to 40 months in a U.S. prison for her role in a Jamaican lottery scam. Allen had earlier pleaded guilty in a Georgia court to one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and false impersonation of an FBI agent. In sports, the hearing of West Indies cricketer Andre Russell has been adjourned until October 6, when more witnesses will be questioned in the case in which the athlete is accused of failing to inform anti-doping officials of his location for drug testing. In your weather forecast, the Meteorological Service of Jamaica has issued a severe weather alert for Jamaica as it prepares for the possible impact of Tropical Storm Matthew. And that's it for the Vina Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.